hear about the minutes for approval. Next, we have a, uh, a request from the Wareham Village Association, Mr. Chair, for a permit. Yes. So, Mr. Lindsay Hitchens. Hello. Yeah. activities for the children and an outline. Thank you. Jackie, you can just take one of the mics. Great. Hi, everyone. I'm here for Christmas on Main Street, which will be from 12.30 to 3.30. And the parade will start at 3.30 and go till 4. People will line up with their floats coming in through the fire department, going the wrong way up Merchant's Way. We will have a police officer there. They will also line up right up to the depot station and from there the Narrows. And the parade will come down Main Street. It will go up Chapel and across High onto Marion Road to Viking Drive. And then we'll have uh, tree lighting and cocoa and cookies. <laughs> Can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> I know, huh? <laughs> it's not even July yet, and we'll talk at Christmas. Right Christmas. Yeah, we may need that hot chocolate by then. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Chair, make a motion to approve the request for use of town roads for the annual Christmas parade by the Way Hemphill Association on December the 10th and a rain date of December 17th. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Great. And thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Do you want to say any more, Jack? Uh, you want to give a little spiel? Oh, okay. Well, we... I just want to get the motion done. Good. We won't talk about um, Christmas, though, but I'm looking for artistic face painters for the festival. And if they join us for the day, um, they can have lunch on us. Well... Nice. Okay, and also volunteers to help out with different areas. We could use a few more. Do I have a show of hands? <laughs> <laughs> you don't want me painting anybody's face. <laughs> That's okay. Well, thank you very much. Okay, thank, thank you. you. <coughs> okay, for the town administrator's report, uh, we're going to skip that for right now. What we need to do is... The Finance Committee is waiting us for us to do voting on a few of the articles that we had missed. And we had a meeting this afternoon with the school committee. And, uh, Mark, you want to elaborate on this? We have a uh, shorter version of the memorandum of agreement on the health care for the holiday. Copies are still just... Christian, you Mr. Cruz, I don't think you want the microphone. So Matt. Turn the microphone towards I'll try. Yeah, get a little closer. Yeah, there you go. We have a uh, sh shorter version of the memorandum of agreement uh, proposed with respect to the health care premium holiday. Uh, yeah. That is uh, enclosed. Uh, the chairman have signed. I've signed. Superintendent Rabinovich has signed. Um, so it... it uh, Replaces the longer version with more verbiage. Uh, I believe it meets the intent, at least reflecting back on the Budget Review Committee as it relates to the use of the health care holiday. Um, and you have, um, just just so you know, um, as certified by Powers and Sullivan for uh, year ending fiscal 2010, the uh, premium holiday. Uh, is in the uh, board packet, so you should have a copy of the uh, plan. Uh, $3.4 million in reserve. Uh, we intend to keep um, about a million dollars of that in further reserve and then use the health care holiday uh, as uh, presented uh, in the budget for um, the requisite number, the fair share of, of uh, teachers and staff going to the school department, and the uh, fair share of um, dollars going to the town. Um, as a further checkpoint, 
I just want to make it clear to the board that our independent uh, auditors also, well, by, the way, by the way, we got this information last Thursday uh, as they have uh, produced their work papers. Um, and the idea here is, is that we've also consulted with our consultants from GBS, our healthcare consultants. Uh, and when all is said and done, we'll have twice as much of a buffer, what is called incurred but not reported, uh, in the account uh, when the health care holiday uh, premium uh, is provided. The intent, at least from where I sit, uh, is to uh, wait till about mid-year, uh, look at the account, see what the run rates are. We've been studying them over the past three years, uh, for the past three years, and um, to make sure that we have enough in reserve to be able to move forward. Uh, once again, <coughs> starting with 3.4, taking a million out for uh, incurred but not reported, um, producing the health care premium holiday for uh, close to one point, a little bit over 1.4 million, and still having a million dollars left in the account, the trust fund, once again, I think gets us to at least where we had started out with this, with the plan to um, balance the fiscal 2012 budget. Uh, that's my update, Mr. Chairman. Okay. Uh, has anybody got a motion or you want to discuss? We'll put it up for discussion. Is that, yeah. what, is that what you care you want to go first? Are you going to have a discussion? Yes. Yes. Mr. Chair, I, I don't believe that taking money out of the health care trust fund to fund a one-time gap, which is only going to leave us in the same place next year, is a wise idea. If we have $1.5 million excess in the trust fund, that tells me we've been overpaying the trust fund and perhaps changing and lowering the contribution rate for both the employee and the town over the long haul, which will also save money, would be a better way to go. There isn't going to be a million point four million dollars in the trust fund next year. We have really difficult decisions to make, and nobody sitting here wants to make them, but we have to make them. We have to make the tough decisions today, or those decisions are going to be a lot harder a year from now. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Mr. Holmes. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. I uh, was at the meeting when this was raised. Mr. Rabinovich was there. <clears throat> and I asked the question about this transfer of $971,000. Actually, they're not taking it out. They're just not going to put it in. It's just semantics to get by legal terminology. So my question was, if you're going to use $971,000 to fund school operations, operations are an annual expense, what happens next year? And the answer was, Mr. Andrews uh, wasn't present at the meeting, but the answer was similar to, well, we've worked out an agreement with the town administrator that next year the town is going to chip in $500,000. And I'm thinking to myself, wow, if we had that kind of money, we could do a lot of good things. I further did some research on these health care premium holidays, and this has actually taken place in, in other places in Massachusetts over the last few years without very good results. Um, I did check with the Department of Revenue. They said it was legal, unwise, and not recommended. So therefore, I won't be supporting this memorandum of agreement because I don't believe that we should be taking money out of one of our more secure funds in this town. And, and I don't want to use the term roll the dice, but to take this money to fund operations, I think, is a bad fiscal move, in my opinion. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Hall. Mr. Snyder. I have to say that, uh, for the most part, I agree with uh, both of my colleagues uh, with respect to um, taking funds from the Health Care Trust Fund. <clears throat> from my standpoint, you know, in essence, this is a this is a stabilization fund. If we were if we were going to uh, make a transfer, I would readily make a transfer to the stabilization fund. Um, but to fund it for one-time operating expenses, 
um, doesn't make a lot of sense to me. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, I, I'm also acutely aware of the fact that we're, we're looking at a $2.5 million school bus problem going forward. Um, so I, I don't, this memorandum of agreement, um, with all due respect to Mr. Andrews, um, there's re it's really not an enforceable agreement. It's really not worth the paper it's written on. And uh, <clears throat> I, I, I can't support it either. Mr. Baker. Mr. I have, um, I have a question, Mr. Chair. Was this a school committee meeting? Was this a school committee meeting? No, it wasn't. So that's why the only signatures, it was just it was with the chairs? between Mr. Andrews, Barry, myself, and uh, Kenny Foss, the chairman. Okay. So the signatures, um, we don't have an opportunity, apparently, to hear what the school committee has to say about this uh, memorandum of agreement. And, you know... Again, I have to agree. I think that this one time, it's very difficult to approve something like this, when, particularly with kind of what happened with the budget last year with the school department. And I think that we're, frequently the town scrutinizes the, the town side of the budget, but I think that the school department deserves to have the same level of scrutiny. So again, if this money did not go into the health care trust fund, I could support it going into the stabilization fund, but I, I can't support this agreement. Well, I was at that meeting. The school committee agreed on it, and like I said, there was the four of us there, and we agreed on it. And I think to go forward, if this is for this year, Next year is going to work out. We may be in a bigger problem or we may be in a less. But right now, running the town or running an organization, the money has to come from somewhere. And coming from there, it's not taking anything away from anybody else. The school committee will still be functioning properly. Otherwise than that, uh, there's going to be a lot of gnashing of teeth uh, if we don't go along with it. And uh, if Mr. Andrews has anything to say, I'll let him forward on that. Mr. Chairman, uh, if I could, um, <clears throat> because I, I think by having our independent auditors look at the account um, to show us the balance, looking at the run rate for the third through the third quarter of this fiscal year, um, you know, I can say it's a healthy fund balance, and we have protected ourselves. Just for the ed edification of everybody here and listening, we have stop loss insurance. We are we protected ourselves from catastrophic claims. Uh, the town has worked very hard and through a number of mechanisms, uh, even going forward, and some of the collective bargaining agreements we've settled, um, I feel very strongly that the, um, and by the way, we have a legal opinion from the Massachusetts Department of Revenue um, that was sought back in 2009, uh, well before this board sat here and before I sat here. Um, the only method, you can't write a check from this account, it's a client-based account. The only method is to give everyone who contributes to it some form of a holiday, some form of a um, week off or two weeks or whatever might be acceptable. Uh, it's very difficult for me to say that I can go back and find, you know, 400000 dollars on the town side um, because that's what it amounted to. Fair by uh, each individual who paid in, that individual received or will receive as proposed. Um, a holiday premium for one month, um, once again, just for the edification uh, of all. Uh, and then our independent uh, consultants on the health side, GBS, uh, could, uh, have, have indicated that uh, you know, they have seen communities like this where you have this amount of money in the trust, however it got built up, however we protected ourselves. Uh, and the only other point I'd like to make is that uh, if we, uh, as we have been watching the um, work in Boston, with the House of Representatives passing its budget um, and looking to give local communities more, um, let's say, clawing power to go back into collective bargaining agreements and change some things, carve out certain things. Um, there'll be certain standards from what I can see. The Senate has filed that same language with its Ways and Means report last week. So uh, where I'm going with this is as follows. 
um, we can sit on the balance in the account. Uh, the only way for it to come out, you can't write a check. Uh, you know, you can't. It's 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 not accepted through the opinion from the Department of Revenue. And but what what frightens me a bit is that if this legislation pass passes with the House and Senate's budget, um, and we don't meet certain standards, uh, we might be forced to, to, to go into the state's GIC, uh, which is less of a plan for our employees. Doesn't really co concentrate, as I my own opinion on wellness and providing some flexibility in the plans, um, and that balance would also be absorbed by the state. So I'm not saying that's going to happen. All I'm saying is that the first time I can remember in the past uh, four or five years, this similar language in the House and in the Senate as they go through the budget process. And I point that out just as a footnote for the board. I do understand the positions the board members have taken. But it's going to be a difficult haul to go back in to find our side. Um, I'll do it. Uh, if, I, if need be, but the, the point of it is, is that we do have uh, a way to take to get a bridge between 2012 and 2013, um, and it's up to the board to decide uh, its direction. I thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'm going to call for motion. Go ahead, uh, Mr. Chairman. I make a motion that the board of selectmen reject the memorandum of understanding healthcare premium holiday. Motion made. Steve, second by Kara. Any other discussion? If none. I am <clears throat> Mr. Chair, through you to Mr. Andrews. I don't agree with taking money out of the health care trust fund for any reason at all. And there are a number of line items in the budget which have been increased substantially over last fiscal year and in some cases since December 15th. We do need to fund the, the schools, but we need to find a better way. We have to figure out how we're going to fund the schools going forward. Buying ourselves a year is kicking the can down the road. It's not going to help us. That operating expense that is 900000 this year is going to increase next year. And the year after that, and the year after that. We have to deal with what really amounts to a structural deficit. We have to figure out how we're going to do that. And I don't have the answer for that tonight, but that's, that's the real issue, is how we're going to make this budget year after year after year going forward, because there's not going to be a windfall next year. And maybe the GIC will happen, and maybe it won't. But I'm not comfortable... And I, I don't think that the community would feel comfortable if we start rating these accounts to cover a deficit. I just don't think it's a it's prudent, and I don't think it's fiscally responsible. And I do think that there is money in the budget that can be put towards that deficit. Thank you. Is there any other discussion? Yes, please. Mr. Chair, through you, um, again, this is not taking money out of the account. It's money that doesn't go in. And I understand that we're going to have expenses go up. They go up in our household. They're going to go up for the town. So we cannot every single year cut the budget. I get that. We also have some contracts that haven't been negotiated for some time. So should the body decide that we would take a health care premium holiday, I would strongly urge the body that this money would go into the stabilization fund because, again, we have um, contracts that continue to be in negotiation. We have people that have not had raises for some time, and I think that these are going to be annual events. It's, it's going to be a perennial problem that we are going to have to find money. Absolutely. But, um, again, I absolutely understand what Mr. Andrews has been saying, and should we ha I think that my problem is um, that I don't think Mr. Andrews is necessarily responsible for the school department budget. I would have liked to have seen a little bit more explanation for the school department budget, um, the program that they're bringing for forward, et cetera. And I don't think that I got an adequate explanation. I don't think a lot of people did. So that would continue some sort of negotiation should the money go into um, stabilization fund. And 
Am I happy about it? No. Is it a, should be only a one-time event? Absolutely. Because we've heard from different um, places. I, too, did some research. And those that did it annually had a premium holiday did decimate their funds. So the only way that this could possibly go forward for me is if it was a one-time event. Any other discussion? Well, it does say on this memorandum, it is a one one time thing, and it's, and it's uh, all just for the 2012. Uh, we're here saying we don't have answers. If you don't have answers, and you're going to deny something that we have an answer to for right now, and from now until it comes up again, we should be able to have answers. If we can look up all the information we've been looking up and going through all this and saying no, we should be able to put our nose to the grindstone and come up with an idea of how we're going to come up with the money. Uh, and discussion is over. It was first. Okay, Mr. Snyder, sorry. I just, from my standpoint, this is a policy decision by the Board of Selectmen. Um, at, at the end of the day, Mr. Andrews, correct me if I'm wrong, this agreement is not a legally enforceable agreement, and this, this matter will actually be, ultimately be decided by the body, by the, by the town meeting vote. Mm -hmm. And I think that we're just, you know, setting our, um, our policy with, res with regard to fiscal prudence. Um, and again, you know, I, I certainly have children in the schools, and we all want great schools, um, but you know, at some point, we we all, we need to say, you know, everybody needs to live within their budget. And um, I guess, from my standpoint, I'm I'm trying to send a message to town meeting that, you know, I support fiscal prudence in this. In my view, although it's, in in my view, it is legally acceptable. Um, it's just something that I'm not prepared to do. Any other discussion? If not, put it to vote. All in favor, Steve, the motion. The motion, the motion, just so we're clear, the motion was to reject. So an I vote would mean to, <coughs> to not ratify this agreement. Right. Now, the agreement is between us and the school department just to show solidarity between the Board of Selectmen and the school committee because for years it has been a separation of state, so-called. So now, uh, like you, as, as Mr. Snyder said, it's going to go up to the uh, town meeting floor anyway. So uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? No. Four, one, zero. Mr. Holmes, Mr. Holmes, did you have anything on the uh, town meeting the, floor that we... What was it? Oh, yeah. We just because wanted they, to double-check some right. of the votes to make sure, because some of them were not. Does anybody have their chart for the town meeting articles? Mm -hmm. We're just going to double-check to make sure we got all the votes correct. On the... Uh, Let me see if, I, if, if everybody has their... There's a... Special first. Yeah, it's only a couple. Some of these are postponed, correct? Right. Well, yeah, the first one, I just want to verify um, the board. Uh, number three, the triannual revaluation. We decided to hold on that. I have a note on this table, but I think Mr. Andrews has yeah, table. something on that. Can I do that now yeah. while I'm going through these months? Yes, yes. Uh, this is from Mr. Andrews, I believe. Yes. Uh, well, some had staples, some did. So let me say. Uh, I'm trying to go. Uh, this is just one page. Just one, should be one page. It's hot. Mr. Chair, I just received these from the town administrator for an amendment on this number three. And this is, you're going to read this amendment? 
go to the town meeting, right? Yes. I'm going to do it, okay? Correct. And basically, if we just go through it quick, it says to put a hold. All right? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, on the revaluation, on one, to put a hold on the ex hold on assessor's expense line item and hold on debt principal on assessor's line. I move to increase the expense item by 152000 and the explanation is you passed over this in a special town meeting and are adding it here. It will be balanced by a change in the funding source for the debt principal line, which will now be funded in part from the proceeds of the sale of land account. On the debt service principal, moved that 152000 of the total be funded by appropriating the same amount from the proceeds of sale. So all you're doing is moving this from one place to the other, the expense you're correct, for the revaluation, correct? You're, you're correct, sir. But it's still 152000 That's correct. Uh, and this completes that transaction in the assessor's accounts to keep the votes in balance. So we'll be reading that uh, under three. Um, but the board, I don't have a vote from the board on Article Number Three, the special town meeting. And this is for the revaluation to see if the town will vote to transfer one hundred and fifty-two thousand dollars per the amendment that I just read, and that's to do our revaluation here in town. We need to get that done so that we can set our tax bills. So we may have a question on that uh, on that number three. So are we going to table that and it comes up later? Mr. Chairman, through you, Mr. Clerk, uh, I recommend that we table uh, Article 3 and then take up in the budget under the assessor's lines, add that amendment to the assessor's budget at that time. Okay. So, yeah. so in effect... Yeah, which through, article is that? Article the assessors. Number 3. No, for the assessors. No, we have the... Uh, <coughs> the regular budget. The amendment. Right. So Article 3 basically will go away. That's correct. Yeah, we're just going to carry it under the regular, under the, under the, uh, on the budget. You are correct. So. Okay. We don't need to vote. Now. Did you get the? Uh, oh, hang on. No, it's oh. Article Three is no more. It's going to be withdrawn. Right. What about Article? So. Did we do Article Four? I'm working on it. Oh. Okay. Number four is the appropriation deficit articles to see if the town will vote to transfer from free cash 720-169.91 to fund the appropriation deficits not previously funded. So, Mr. Chairman, that's a hold as well. Right. It's what? A hold, Mr. Clark. You got to withdraw it. that as well? Yes. It's going to be included in the regular budget? That's correct. Okay, so... So these are both holes. Um, and the board voted uh, on one, six, and seven. So the special town meeting article has all our votes. Here's the amendment for number three. All right. And on the regular town meeting warrant articles, uh, I have recorded as number six, which was the actual budget as a hold. And that's where that new one is going to go into, correct? Right. That's where number three is going to move to. Number eight. Uh, so should the board, to the to the members, we, we need should to we not board. have an opinion yes, on the we budget? Should, we should take out that. Sure. Sorry to hold to this one here, I understand we're moving it because that's <coughs> now going to become part of number six. But uh, the board, I think we should have a make a motion that we vote on this. Right, I think we should. And the article is number six, which number is the budget. Six. Have to see if the, uh, the uh, town will vote to raise and appropriate and transfer from the available funds to defray charges and expenses to the town. Uh, the fiscal year beginning July 1, 11 to June 30th, 2012. Motion ready. Are we ready to take a vote? Give me a second. 
Any questions? I'm sure we have a time. <laughs> I'm, un I'm unclear on uh, if we're, we're, we're taking a vote for favorable action on this budget. However, but we just voted to uh, reject the proposal from the committee, from, from the, the, the agreement between the school committee and the board of selectmen. We right. did. Right. Unfortunately. So we're voting favorable action to allow the body to. I, I'm going to vote no. So. No. Okay. I'll, I'll Mr. Move. Mr. Clark, can you explain how the, the motion's always for favorable action, right. just to be consistent. You can vote up or down on the budget. Up or down on the, so it could be zero five zero. So we're all opposed to favorable action. And what we did to, to clarify through you, Mr. Chairman, to the members, we just voted not to ratify this agreement um, on this health premium holiday. That, I would I would guess, Mr. Schneider, that someone will be bringing this up in about <laughs> twenty five minutes uh, to an audience who probably hasn't done any research on it in the hopes of getting them to allow the transfer. Just my opinion. So, Mr. Chairman, you're looking for a motion for favorable action? Favorable action, yes. I'll move favorable action. Well, we have, we have, to, we have it in second. Mm -hmm. Just okay. a matter of vote. Any more, is there any more discussion? <coughs> Take a vote. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Two. All opposed? Aye. I had said aye for a favorable action. Three. 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 I didn't hear Mr. Begley. Sorry. Sorry. You're, You're on the bad side. side. Yeah. Huh. Was it yes or no? Yes. Yes. Three, two, Three, two, zero. Um, the next one I have a missing number on is on the stabilization fund. Which number was that, Mr. Number Paul? eight to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate or transfer available funds from the operating budget, 150000 to the stabilization fund. Move favorable action. Second. Motion made second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Five, zero, zero. Uh, all day kindergarten revolving fund is article number 13. Motion. Say again? Um, Mr. Chairman? Yes. In the, yes. In the revised motion, uh, the numbers have been revised uh, downward. Uh, the first article, I believe, is down to 207. The second one is down to 100 uh, to comply with our requirements relative to revolving accounts. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. But while that, Mr. Chairman, while that may be so, uh, I'm trying to work off of this list. We'll, we'll adjust as we go along as needed. Um, but the written fact sheets in front of us tell me that it's 13. I'll figure it out if it's 12 when we get there. 15, 14. Right. So uh, I guess we have a motion for favorable action. Second. Motion made and second favorable action. All in uh, all right. favor? You want, you want the Finance Committee vote on this one? Zero, zero, 007. Right. They all abstained? Yeah. <clears throat> Why? I don't think they had enough information. Uh. <laughs> they didn't have enough information, so that was it. The school department will provide the motion on this. Yeah. It almost sounds to me like this motion. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, we did. We have a second for discussion. Yep. I second it. Uh, uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, it, it seems to me that. Well, they kind of got involved in front. If we go to another page that I just read in the last couple of days, I thought this program was being done away with, or some factions of it. That may be, Mr. Chair, that may be why they're reducing the overall Under the cost crime. of the program. Mm -hmm. So, this is not just my thought. Is there any other questions? If not, we'll move the motion. Favorable action, all in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? I'll Aye. abstain. Four. 
Four zero. Zero one. Spangley, yes. Yes. Thank you. Four zero one, correct? Uh, number 14. <coughs> or, uh, back at ASD. Special Education Revolving Fund Finance Committee again abstained completely 007. Using revolving funds for the purpose of special education tuition program supplies equipment not to exceed 307,000 expended in fiscal year 2012. Mr. Chairman, I move favorable action. Yeah. Second. Motion. Favorable action made and second. Any, any, any other discussion? Um, Mr. Chairman, through you to the town administrator, this is another issue related to complying with the Department of Revenue. That's right. If there are any other discussion, all in favor, favorable Aye. action. Aye. 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 All opposed. Five zero zero. And um, number twenty six, which was the lease on the police cruises, to see if the town will vote to raise an appropriate transfer from available funds to sum ninety nine thousand two hundred and twenty four dollars pay for the second year of three year lease for eight police cruises and one SUV. Second. Oh, I'm sorry. Move favorable action. <laughs> <laughs> favorable that? action made. Second. <laughs> Any discussion? Sorry, I missed that. Right. If there are no discussion, all in favor? Favorable Aye. action? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Five, zero, zero. Uh, there was a question on number 27 uh, to see if the town will vote to. This is on the defibrillators. So now we see the defibrillators cut. Uh, we see the defibrillators cut in other discussions and lines. So, uh, Mr. Clark, this is inserted by the Board of Selectmen at the request of the Capital Planning Committee. So I'm assuming that. Capital Planning Committee is pay, planning to pay for these. <laughs> Mr. Clerk, if I could, through you, Mr. Chairman, this, yes. this item has been withdrawn. It will be in the capital plan. It will so be. It's, so it's, it's withdrawn. It's withdrawn. Yeah. That's why I, don't know. I, I thought I heard that. What's the next one? Okay. Uh, almost done. Let's uh, see. Uh, 28. Oh. Twenty-eight is the funds uh, pay for the first year of a three-year lease for. Oh, this is a new lease for three police vehicles. Is that still active? That's or is correct. That part of the capital plan. No, that's part of the ongoing program to replace the cruisers. So, Article Twenty-eight is to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate and transfer available funds to some of fifty thousand dollars to pay for the first of a three-year lease for three police cruisers. And authorize the town administrator to expend such funds. Uh, move I move the oh, second. Motion made and second. Any questions? Mr. Slatter. <coughs> I'm sorry, who's second? Mr. Chairman, I'm sorry, who's second? Mr. Chairman, through you to the town administrator, I know that there was some question on this article. Um, at the finance committee meeting, and I'm wondering if I could just get some clarification from you. <clears throat> um, there was question as to whether or not that this was uh, an item that was actually going to cost $99,000 versus the $50,000 in this year. It's my belief that it's $50,000 based on the uh, fact that we're paying uh, $99,000 for the previous leases. Is that correct? Any other questions? It's a total. Total of 50,000. through you. Total. Total. Correct. I, it's a total of 50, I just want a clarification. First year. That what is the second year? Do we know? Second and third year? It'd be $99,000. So we'll go up to $99,000. So it's an initiation point to start the process. Sorry. <clears throat> uh, the 50,000 is the initiation point for the three cruises. And then um, we'll be 
uh, paying along the lines of the $99,000 in subsequent years. <coughs> yes, I know. I'm sorry. Um, so it's an initiation point. Like the first round, it was as we started um, the replacement of cruises, uh, we had a grant for $50,000 to start the process going forward, to enter into the lease. And then we will ask for an appropriation to cover the respective uh, second and third years of the lease payment as we get into those years. We have a grant. Sorry, through you, Mr. Chairman. We have a grant for 50000 we, so we, we had a grant last year. Last year. I'm, I'm well, using that as an we're example. We're talking about Article 28 this year. Mm -hmm. I was using that as a, to you, Mr. Chairman, as an example of how we initiated the leases uh, right. in the sp last spring, spring of 2010. So we're using the same format uh, going into it, but with $50,000 of our, our monies first. Okay, now on this, Steve, to clarify, uh, Wednesday at the finance uh, meeting, they, they cut it from three to one. In other words, instead of three cruises, they went down to one. Oh, yes, see, we're working on some old loads here. So, uh, can, I, can I ask a question, Mr. Chair? Yes, go ahead. Please. Yeah, we need to be. Yes, I know we need to go, Mr. Chair, through you. When we originally funded the lease at Springtown Meeting, how many, how many cars did we buy? Five, right? We, we leased, to you, Mr. Chairman, we leased eight vehicles seven cruises and one SUV vehicle, command vehicle. In the spring or combined with the spring and the fall? Because there was an issue with some lease money in the fall, too. We had, had $50,000, the point that I mentioned earlier, we had $50,000 in a federal grant that we could apply to the lease arrangement. So that began the process by which we leased the uh, eight total vehicles last spring. How many vehicles are there in the fleet? There's I'd have to check that number. Carol. What's the maximum number of patrols that are out on any shift? Um, I know that at least four sector cars are out on most, on most shifts. Four sector cars plus maybe a rover, so five total. Okay. Along those lines. All right. I, I don't think that we have... This, this is too confusing. <laughs> Just, well, if it comes up, we're going to need a, we're going to need a vote on it anyway. So uh, was there a motion? We have, we have a motion for favorable action, Mr. Chair, because that's what we've done by me, Mrs. Begley, second. Uh -huh. okay. There's a motion to second. Just, I'm just on discussion. I, you know, it's another hundred grand next year. I, listen, I, this is all, all this money's going out the door, and, and we were basing our hopes, or maybe they still are, that this includes it, almost a million dollars from the health insurance. Remember, they're still using that number to make all this stuff balance. So that's why I have concerns. If that million dollars goes down in there, 971, where's this hundred going to come from? Right? Oh, excuse me, Mr. Chairman. Uh, just to be clear, are you on the school side, Mr. Zalakman? Because I, I'm on nine, no. I, I'm nine, nine, to the town of Wayham, Mr. Andrews. But on the school there side? There is no school side. On the school on the plan, the school the side town. would be seven nine seventy one. On on our side, it's about four hundred thousand. Right. That's so you're are you saying to the board of selectmen tonight, through you, Mr. Chair, that if that goes down, that none of that money is going to come from the town of Wayne side to your side? No, I did not. I did not say that. Okay. Yeah. So if that goes down tonight, there's nine seventy one. That, that we have to find a way to contribute. And here's another hundred. Fifty. So, fifty. Yeah. Fifty, 50 is not. When you don't have it, fifty well, and hundred is a lot of I, money. I thought we had a program, excuse me one second, that we had a program to replace the cruises. I'm recommending this. It's in my budget. And uh, respectfully ask for your consideration. Thank you. I have no problem replacing the cruises, Mr. Andrews. My, my question is, where is the money going to come from, depending on what happens in, in a half an hour? If they approve the transfer, then we have the money. If they don't approve that transfer, uh, or the holiday, if you will, then we may not have the money. That's what I'm saying. I do understand. Thank you. Am I ready to call to move the motion? By, is there any other? If not, all in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? I'm I'll abstain. Eight, three, oh, two. Uh, 29 was withdrawn. 
should just have number 31. 29. 31. Oh, yes. oh, that's for the tax we already did on that. That's, Where, that's out. What did you say? Oh, 30? Oh, okay, it's withdrawn. Yeah, 30, 30 was out because right. that was the... Yeah. Motion to adjourn. Just to continue to, to tomorrow. To continue to Tuesday, May 24, 2011 at 6 p.m. in the high school auditorium should there be a town meeting. Right? It's cafeteria. Cafeteria. Where am I? Cafeteria. <laughs> All in favor? Continuation till tomorrow. I second that. Second. second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? See you inside. Thank you.